The spirit are going to run at them non-stop with this disruptor, with this spirit breaker. They're going to want to fight. At level two for both Cuckoo and Zephyr. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, uh, that was this, close. This Doom's owning mid. He's doing really well, especially with the regen war. White Mon. Charge over on a White Mon. First dive right on top of him as well. Taking a lot of damage here. 23, trying to maybe get a kill before that first blood comes out. But Mira will get credit for that first blood. Something else I was going to mention earlier. I think uh, our B-Cop uh, is, is having some problems. He just got me for a second. Uh, lucky you. I, I can still... Yeah. I, I've, oh, I've here, come back. Here. My here. Dota just crashed. I still have the ob speed, though. Oh, White Mon getting a little oh, bit low. Rolling Thunder coming through. Collapse gets the kill on a White Mon. Yeah, I was going to say, before, something that uh, is worth mentioning this game. Oh, Cookie. Oh, almost dodged by Mira. Oh. Scatter Blast. Mira, he's going to fall. Charge comes in onto the Doom. Carl, though. Maybe thinking about turning. Uh, Cuckoo. He's in some trouble. He's got Burrow Strike, but I don't think that's enough distance. And now they've got the vision on him. One more right click. Ituro will get that kill. Was he dead if he just ring around the Rosie the tower? Oh, they're going to go Doom mid as used well. on the Pango. Toronto Tokyo are going to try and survive, but looking very unlikely as Carl will clean that kill. And Ooh, Ooh, actually... Gosh. The uh, cookie goes over Maposhka, who will drop down the kinetic field and stop Carl from moving in. I'm going to put the Sunray on to this Doom Chase Carl out, but again, they've got that glimpse, which will put him into the hands of Yatoro. <laughs> It'll end up with Maposhka dying, but Carl will fall in response. Without, you know. Following it up? Yeah. I was... I mean, maybe it could have been okay, but. Glimpse on a Zephyr. Charge coming in. Got the Sunray, they have the Rolling Thunder, Fire Snap Cookie, ooh, avoiding the Rolling Thunder, but that's not going to keep him alive. And that'll be the 10th kill there. Again, all this while Yatoro is farming. But 23 Savage comes in, should have a kill here on Mafoshka, especially with the help coming through from Cuckoo with that Burrow Strike. That Blink Dagger to cover the ground, and now they're going to go after Collapse for a second. 23 might even focus his attention on Tamira. Cuckoo, he does have Blink in a second as well as the Burrow Strike if they want to make this move onto the Phoenix. 23 right under his nose. Carl denies the tower. There's the Blink as well as the Burrow Strike as the Icarus dive is going off. They get the kill on Amira. No, Yatoro is trying to turn this. Maybe get a kill there on a Cuckoo, but they've got the purification to keep him alive. The farm is pretty outrageous from him. And now Team Spirit, they're trying to make a play. They're trying to find something, but... Uh, yeah, White Mon will show himself. They've got the charge coming in, and there's the barrage coming out from 23. They're going to go into the Metamorphosis, but the Burrow Strike hits from Cuckoo. Looking for the Epicenter to follow it up. They've got Good the Doom coming up the Terror Blade. They should have the damage to get this kill. They'll take out White Mon, but in return, is a Terror Blade of Yataro. Toronto, Tokyo, Swashbuckle doesn't get down to the low ground either with a Shield Crash. Oh, dear. That's two big kills there for T1, and they're looking for more. They smell blood in the water, and they really want to take advantage, and they will. They'll get the plus one Let's on see. Mira, and this ends right by the tier one mid. It feels like that had to be the fight that went well for Spirit. You know, they've hit this timing in the game where the Pango and the Spirit Breaker are going to start to fall off slightly if this next fight doesn't go well for them. Bonkers, isn't it? Such a disgusting spell. Static Storm as well as the Sunray on Zephyr. He's getting charged, but a good two hand stun. Zephyr might die, but he's happy to do so if they can no get the life way. of two. And now they've got the purification. He won't even die. So what Zephyr stands his, green, uh, stands his ground and survives. And now they've got the Doom on the Pangolier, and this is while they're taking Roche. So Carl, is he even going to die? Charge comes in. They've got a TP coming through, but the Blink Burrow strike. They were looking for the ult, and that's going to save Carl. And now the ult once again, and he yules. So, Cuckoo, he ends up dead. Uh, Savage. And 23 in some trouble. Rolling Thunder. Uh-oh. Uh 23 may have bitten off more than he could chew, but they've got the purification. And White Mon TP's in to give the Sunder over. Radiance top tower is under attack. He wants... Daedalus with the Maelstrom, Scotty, and Dragonlance with BKB all ready to go. He's sitting level 21. But after that fight over bottom, 
TB, he's three levels behind. He's got Scotty Manta as well as the Lincolns with 1,700 gold saved up, technically ahead of the Squinks by a little bit with the BKB being popped. They've got themselves the Doom out under the Terror Blade. They're going to Sun Ray to try and keep him alive. And now the Glimpse. And I'll try to help TB maybe be able to run away with the BKB running out. Sunray trying to keep him alive, and they're going to kill the Yotaro. Now the Lookovers, the Rolling Thunder is bouncing Carl up into the air. They've got the Swashbuckle. The Purification comes in from White Mon to save him. Epicenter right there. Burl Strike Good lands. Shield Crush. Magic shield is there. Shield Crash. Cool. Toronto, Tokyo. Ooh, Jukin jiving, but eventually both cities have been conquered. So 2,000 gold away from the Ags on the Disruptor. He's been trying to get that. Oh, they found a the Queens for a second, but they're going to get the Blink in the pop of Link. So get the Doom out onto the Terror Blade. Now the Mortimer's Kisses is coming through. They'll take out Yatoro at 70 seconds without this TB. They get the Static Storm as well as the Kinetic Field. They've got the Purification. They're going to keep alive this Doom. The Silence is no longer on him as the Static Storm runs out. The Storm is passed. The Eye of the Storm is over them, and they'll get the kill in a collapse. Ooh. He's Instead, savage. buys out on the Refresher, I believe. They're going to go for the charge, but again, they've got the Heavenly Grace. This should keep 23 pretty healthy, and now they've got that ult. They'll glimpse back White Mon. They're trying to get the kill here onto the Omni Knight, but he's so tanky, eating a lot of that damage. Finally, the Swashbuckle, as well as the damage coming from Yatoro, is going to be enough to get the kill onto the Omni Knight. They'll take him out for 47 seconds. He does not have buyback. It, it was a good attempt by them. They find the clinks, but the instant Heavenly Grace on the Omni just makes it so difficult for them. And they'll get the kill on Maposhka as they're trying to retreat from this one. He did have to send the Pangolier back. And now they've got the Doom that's going to be out on the Terrible once again. They've got the Burl Strike as well as the kill on Yatoro. He's dead for 70 seconds once more. Does not have buyback, nor is he close to having buyback. He's a thousand gold off. They're going to TP Cuckoo bottom. Push in that creep wave while they push in mid with 23 Savage. Lincoln's for both 23 and Cuckoo. They're going to go for this here. They're going to at least try. Very tough. Toronto, Tokyo with the Rolling Thunder not really getting touched. And Carl, he picked up that refresher, so he's got Doom available again, but the Burrow Strike comes in. They get the kill on the Toronto, Tokyo. They'll get Pango gone for 80 seconds. Collapse trying to make something happen with the right clicks coming out on Amira. They get the kill on the Phoenix. He'll buy back immediately with the BKBs being popped by 23. In 10 seconds. There's the glimpse as well as the Static Storm that mutes up Carl, but he's so tanky. There's no extra damage to follow this <laughs> up. <laughs> It looks like he's not taking any damage from the Static Storm. That's how much the Heavenly Grace not. is doing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll force them back. So they're going to try and defend, but they've got the Blink as well as the Burl Strike coming in on Amira. And Toronto took you over to the side. There's the first Doom. And again, he does have that Refresher. But Disruptor lays down the Static Storm with this Axe. It's not going to do anything. They get the kill here as well as Toronto Tokyo. They're going to buy back on the Pango here. They look over at Yotaro, but the Burl Strike comes in. They get the kill onto the Terror Blade. It doesn't have buyback. Rolling Thunder in. Not even going to matter. The second Doom is put onto the Pango here. And they will call GG on Team Spirit. T1 will take game one with pretty much... Um, I like T1's draft. I agree with the pan. I think this Velo pick was really good. What a crazy Lich game consists of. Some pretty stellar... Shane Frost with like the he's ice level fire. One. Yeah, he's on the run and one shot from dead here. Right now surviving, but Maposhka comes over. Body blocks him. Fairy fire surviving a little bit longer. More right clicks come in. Storm hammer on the Zephyr. Not one, but potentially oh, two is... here. And the shield crash, but Maposhka searching. Ooh, actually gets the salve off first. The full duration. He's fine. He has the uh, 12, one, 13 one charges now as well. So, Oh, I couldn't quite block him in the trees, unfortunately. But there's the one yeah, charge. Brain sap, Venomous Gale once again. And now Zephyr getting low. He needs to turn around and run. They've got another Brain Sap available. They'll use it. Nightmare up Cuckoo. And that'll lead to Toronto Tokyo coming over. And Cuckoo will get a kill before he dies. Now, which can make it very troublesome for... Sven. He has no doppelganger here on the PL. And yeah, they're going to run and try and chase 23. They've got the Void. They'll no jump on top of him with the Fissure. 23, Spirit Lance, and we'll the Sinister Gaze. But the Void I is think there. White Mon's in the trouble now. Collapse will get 23, and they're going to go after White Mon. Ooh. He's is dead. he in range? Yeah. There it is. Feels really good for Carl, who's going to TP up into the top lane, and now has 
has that He's gonna sword fight. mind on a collapse, but collapse is fine. Silence on a two, goes after the Coddle. They land the Fissure, collapse. Running over and the Illuminate, they will get the kill onto this Night Stalker, but here comes Toronto Tokyo. Swashbuckle, but again, they've got the Bane, so we'll see if they can control him. They'll show with the Shield Crash and now goes oh. into the Rolling Thunder. Oh, right to Maposhka. Oh and no, he tried to be greedy. Yeah, tried to farm and instead is farmed. And oh boy, he's in Maposhka trouble. in trouble. Solar Bind, Dagon. Oh my God, with the Illuminate, that was so much damage. Yeah. And this is why it's so ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. Cuckoo's just taking over this mid lane as well. Oh, mid lane, they come in with the blink of the Sven. See what they can get done here is they'll kill off Cuckoo and now he's dominating on Yotaro. Oh, the, the hexed up pig running in at nighttime. That's how it's done and they're going to continue to chase and find themselves a second. Like that, again, Ooh, Poshka. Poshka. Uh, They're going to have Nightmare. They're going to have Boost of Travel coming in. That means they'll have the control with the here Fiend's Grip, but also 23 is going to show himself. So Maposhka's going to hold his ground, go to the Fiend's Grip, try and lock down Carl enough to get the kill, and they will do exactly that. And now Toronto, Tokyo, not dealing with a lot of mana on the other side of this fight, though. They've got themselves a Sven, who goes after Cuckoo. They've got the Fissure to follow it up. It goes into the Essence Ring as well as the Four Staff. Venomous Scale, BKB, Yotaru gets the kill on a Cuckoo. So that's two dead on the side of T1. A very good fight right now oh from the side God. of Team Spirit with Collapse. Going in and killing off Zephyr. I'm not Ice Rock. I'm dying. Oh, you're not? No. Oh. But if I were, I would just say, because I said so. Oh, that's right. So... Three K. Now they're gonna blink in, and they'll go after the Phantom Lancer, and oh, he's immediately no. just dead. They get the kill on a twenty-three. They're gonna throw the Chain Frost over, and that's not gonna lead to anything. And again, but again, it's not damage out. But uh, oh, the Nullifier nice onto stalker. the Pango, and now they're gonna go to the Pango again. That's a bit of a worry because if the Coal comes up to push the lane, the Night Sucker can just punish him really hard. Yeah. Oh, Carl. He's been caught. Finding light, and he is in a lot of trouble, most likely dead. Toronto, Tokyo, he does have that dissimulate stun for two and a half seconds. So they will get a kill on Takaro. Not only that, he's dead for 83 without buyback. He's 150 gold short. They're going to look with the Rolling oh, no. Thunder, go over and try and get the kill here onto the Bane. They'll throw the Spirit Lance on a Maposhka. Rolling Thunder once again, getting quite low, trying to survive. <gasps> the Bane, wow. The Bane with the Shard just healed yeah, up has the all brain the illusions. Of the illusions. And they'll get the kill in a Zephyr instead. Night Stalker pops the ult here, just finding information. Still no Kato for 25 seconds. Astral Step with the Yules and pops the BKB on the landing. They're going to pop the God Strength. Now starts to send illusions over to Yotoro. A buyout on the Butterfly. Ooh. So 23 now has no buyback available. Astro Step once again, dropping down the Aether Remnant. That's not going to land. Goes to the Dissimulate. Which he does have those oh, the extra spots with the shard, and now they're gonna go through. They've got oh themselves the sinister the gates. The damage going at twenty-three. He just used all his gold to buy out on a butterfly. They get the kill on a cuckoo to follow that up with the BKB as well as the God Strength going towards the end here on Yatoro. Because of the uh, whenever he pops out, if he blinks first, you get the cooldown reduction, right? So we're buying with the BKB being popped. And now they're gonna go after this Cottle. They'll get the kill on a Carl. He is very dead, especially with that BKB and the jump forward from Toronto, Tokyo. And they're gonna use that God Strength with the BKB. Oh, take dear. out Cuckoo, take out 23 Savage, rip through both of them. And they will call GG. We'll be going to another game three. Team Spirit start to finish, have control of this one. The sniper tree lane does as well. Yeah, I don't know how good it's gonna be, but it sounds fun. Fun for who? The sniper? Oh, the, the sniper, yeah. I will say that they have the Bulwark on the Mars um, against the Sniper, which in late game could be really strong. Oh, the arrow hits! Oh boy. Zephyr in a lot of trouble, and he is going to be first blood to Maposhka, who continues to dominate on this Bane. And Toronto Tokyo actually gets slept up by Zephyr, so he'll get the save. All right, Carl surviving as that living armor as well. We'll lay down a shrapnel to top, collapse. He will collapse. Are they stacking Ancients on Spirit, ready for the Gyro? Because if they are, this Gyro's net worth is going to be through the roof soon. Oh, Meteor Hammer. It's only, it's only a double. 
Overgrowth from White Mon. Arena down. Spear actually hits on the Void Spirit. They might not have an opportunity to get a kill. Starstorm comes oh, in. Cuckoo low. And now the swap. Ooh, Cuckoo surviving. Nightmare out. They'll look for the sleep on a Maposhka. They'll get the sweep. They'll get the kill on a collapse. They'll end up trading Cuckoo in Maposhka. Well, he'll fall too. So two kills there for T1. Mira on the run in the nature's grass. Slowed up. Starstorm not doing enough. They're all full health. They'll get a third in this top lane. Like their course can't find openings. They can't find farm. They'll we'll smoke towards top. Oh my Magic God. Magic so great dodge with the illusion room, but they've got the swap into the nature's grass. They'll use the arena and with the right clicks coming through, Cuckoo's getting low, but they've also got the help coming through from Carl. And now, unfortunately, He's hit by that Phoenix yeah, Grip. Maposhka just standing his ground. They've got themselves the call down. The look overs. The Nightmare is going to land on a car. They get the kill on a white one. That's going to be two dead. Double damage on Yotaro. And they'll find a third. Carl falls. And Team Spirit come out ahead on that fight. I say that. Ooh, really sad. Oh, and they see oh, the sniper. Oh, 23. They spot him. And can they kill him? Mira kind of jumps in a bit far. And Mira... A bit far and potentially a bit dead, but another save there from Oposhka. Wave of Terror, they had the sentry down trying to get the swap. They're going to swap uh, Toronto Tokyo into the nature's grasp. He's in a little bit too far and he's going to be dead. Oh boy. Uh, they kill the Clinks and 23 from going into a bad position into an advantageous one to kill the Clinks is exactly where he wants to be. Oh, Oposhka, stop. He may not survive this, but. Collapse the, gyro. On the other side is Yotaro as well as Collapse, and that's going to take the attention off of Maposhka. They're going to turn this round on 23. They've got the spear. They'll get the kill. They'll take out 23. They look over at Zephyr, trying to TP out, and Elder Titan falls too. Make it a third. White Mon, see you later. And it's a fourth as Cuckoo hits the deck over to the side. Triple kill for Yotaro. Bring T1 more into this, because they're down quite a bit. Oh, they see the gyro under the sentry. Yeah, they see the gyro. There's Good the nightmare, night, though. Maposhka doing great. But the damage on a Yotaro, they're going to get the kill on the gyro very quickly. The cauldron's going to come in. They've got themselves the assassinate out on a Toronto Tokyo. They'll also dust up the clinks. Uh, let's see if they can get the mid tier one off this one. The gyro's dead. It's not looking likely, but. Aether Remnant locking collapse. down collapse. Nightmare again. The gods rebuke, but the assassinate coming through. They've got the swap once more, so Collapse, he's trying to run, but the astral step is there, and they'll get the kill. Carl will get credit for that one. He was hit by the spear. They'll try to get oh, Toronto Tokyo a kill as they finish off Fuku, but again, cuckoo has got the axe, so everything's available they the to him. Sniper. They've got the swap into the nature's grass. They'll look over at Toronto Tokyo to try and get the kill to the clinks. They'll find him. Carl is gone. So is White Mon. Oh, boy. 23 on the run. Yule's up into the air. Mira trying to get it done with the Star Storm, but it's not going to be enough damage. They get the kill there, and now they're going to look over as the call now comes out, but Yatro will kill off two and finish off the whole side of T1. Uh, with the BKB on the gyro, they're going to feel much safer on the Spirit. Oh, Tokyo. And all of a sudden, though, they're going to go after Toronto Tokyo. They've got the Yules into the Aether Ram, and Earth Splitter comes through. They'll get the kill and take out the Clinks again. Led by an Invis Mars, but no longer Invis. And yeah, they'll they... take away that OBS immediately. Yeah, they know there's a ward there, though, on the die side, so they're going to smoke in now, try and find an entry. Roche doesn't die quickly. That's something we need to keep in mind here, but they're so slow on Spirit, they don't want to come out. Arrow, that's going to come through on a Cuckoo. Cuckoo gets bashed up by Roche. They're going to jump in with Collapse. Oh, Age is picked up by 23, and now they're going to try and get out of this one. And he'll do exactly that with a Concussive Grenade. They get the kill to Collapse. They'll take the first life out of the hands of Cuckoo. I say that because he's got that Ags. So another smoke from Spirit. Let's see. Oh, the sniper. Ooh, 23's at the front. The arena on the back uh, is going to concussive grenade away. And now this arena doesn't exactly feel worth it. They might be able to get the kill on a white mom, but that's going to be it so far. Cuckoo now. Magic missile onto this gyro. Assassinate thrown forward again. Cuckoo's got that second life to play with. They'll pop the BKB on Yantaro. The question is, do they want to sw swap him back in? They'll finish off Mira. It ends up being a two for one. But Fiend's Grip coming through onto Zephyr. And they'll... Finish a third. Ooh, Aether Remnant doesn't land. Dissimilate. Trying to catch up. Maposhka. It'll at least be a trade. Another DD for Yatora. He's going to have to get back. 
They'll TP in. He goes to the Shadow Blade. They're going to look for the Blink as well as the Spear. They look over 23, but they've got the Stalk coming out from Cuckoo. And now they hit the stun onto the Gyrocopter. Right click damage coming with the BKB pop by 23. They'll get the cone to Cuckoo. And now they're going to look over as the Cold comes out. 23 taking a lot of damage here. Ooh boy. Needs to start running. That BKB's only going to last so long. And there's the Yules. 23. He's got an Aegis to work with. He's Can the rest again. of his team save him? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, they've got the spear. They have the rocket barrage. They'll get themselves a second kill on the 23. Feels like they should have just been happy with getting the tier three though, right? Other Titan does have that shard as well as the Ags now, and they're on the low ground. Blink looking for the spear, but immediately the swap as well as the Master Pistol. They look to get the kill on a collapse. They've got the arena, but it's not going to land on a 23. He's on the other side of this. They get the Kona Cuckoo. They're going to have them that illusion. The sweep hits onto the Gyrocopter as well as the Mirana. Nice they're going to kind of collapse. They're taking the Mars. And now they're going to look over the rest with the Earth Splitter landing on a Toronto Tokyo as well as Maposhka. There's the Nightmare trying to run and assassinate no over onto the Mirana. But they've got the Yules up into the air. And now they get the Kona Maposhka. They'll finally take out the main. It's going to be a two for one. They have the lane coming in though. Like, how do they start? Like,. How do they start a fight on Spirit? They're going to try and wrap around with a smoke. You can see Collapse going up from above. They're wrapping all the way around from behind because they want to find the backline first. They want to find the tree. They want to find the Elder Titan. Oh. Sentry down. They've got the swap now. They're going to go in. We'll try and get the silence of the VKB being popped by Toronto Tokyo. Meteor Hammer coming through. They've got the damage to get the kill on Zephyr as well as Cuckoo. Zephyr's going to buy back. They took the Aegis out of the hands of the Sniper. They're right on top of him, but do they have the damage to finish him off a second time? Mars is here, and now they'll go for 23, but the overgrowth over comes in. That's going to land on the two. Mira throwing an arrow. That's going to land on a Carl for a split second. They're going to kill the collapse. They'll take the Mars for 79 seconds. Who does that buyback? But Boshka falls. He's dead for 69. He's got buyback as well. 23 dealing with about half his health. Cuckoo gone once again. Dip for 108 seconds. Zephyr right up on him, and Yandro's going to die to Carl. You got four heroes dead on the side of Team Spirit with a buyback coming up from Collapse. Rax, Wind Waker picked up by the Void Spirit. Oi. How Assassinate. They Carl wants to look over for Maposhka. They've got the silence. Do they get the damage to get the kill? The Clayton is going to be thrown out. They'll look over at Cuckoo again. It's Cuckoo, though. They'll have that second life ready to go. They'll take up the set of racks, and they can't, they just don't have the damage to get the second life out of his hands. I mean, Team Spirit are just watching them take their racks, right? How are you supposed to go on him? This is the problem with, like, what we were saying about the gap close on their heroes. Yeah, they're gonna go. go, they're gonna try and make the move. They've got the spear that's gonna throw 23 onto the high ground, but he's got the concussive grenade, and he just got pushed so far back. back. Blade is gonna be used. They've got the white bun treant dead, and he's already so far away. It was Cuckoo getting the swap that saved the sniper, but they get to go to Cuckoo. He's gonna be alive oh, again. He's got an illusion. Yataro ends up dead. He's gone for two minutes. They've also taken out this fiend. They're gonna look over and try and get the kill on the Toronto Tokyo. The Earth Splitter comes in and now Collapse is trying to defend himself. But the right quick damage coming through with the help from Zephyr as well as Carl. They should be able to get the kill on the Mars and will. He's got buyback 3v4, but really a 3v5 because they've got the illusion from the Venge still up. They're going to try and use this Invis to get behind this Sniper and use that Spear. That's exactly what they're going to get off. They've got the Glatnir, but there's the Swap once again coming out from Cuckoo. Cuckoo keeping his Sniper away. There's the Concussive Grenade. Once again, they get the kill to Maposhka as well as Collapse. But they get the kill to Zephyr. Yachtro trying to do it with the Flak Cannon. Oh my god. By 23. Toronto Tokyo outputting the damage. Yachtro is going to go in on this one. And now they've got the kill and they'll take out the Sniper. It's only the first life though. They need to commit onto the second. They've got White on nearby. He doesn't have Overgrowth, but he does have the Force Staff. And that's going to push this Sniper on the high ground. They get the kill on Amir. They look over. Yachtro is going to pop the BKB. Go over on a White Mon. And they got the stun finally hitting onto the Sniper. They look over. 22 getting run down on the Rocket Barrage as well as the damage coming up from Yatro as well as Toronto Tokyo. They'll finish off 23. He's got buyback. Uh, they're losing their buildings. They are going to be up against Mega Creeps, and I think they've already known that. They have got the to refresher. go. Now they're going to look over 23. They've got the Glade Mirror onto this Sniper. Oh, the damage, but they've got the Swap, and now into the Leap. He leaped in the Aether Remnant. They'll get the kill here onto the Courier of Collapse, and they'll take out they Mirror, but they end up losing 23, and they've got buyback available on the Sniper, and they're going to use it. Cuckoo, he's low. He's gone. The Illusion survives, oh. and that's going to be the second life here for Cuckoo, but they get the kill here on Yatro as well as Zephyr. And Yatro, he's dead for two minutes, and Mira's dead for two as well. They get the buyback coming up from the Sniper as well as this Elder Titan. Let's see if they can finish. Yules up into the air. I believe that was the Wind Waker up into the air. They've got the Dissimilate. They'll look for the Spear, but it's not going to land. Dodge. Carl will get the kill on a Maposhka. Now they're looking over as Toronto Tokyo is going to be taunted up and killed off. Four years dead without buyback. They'll call GG, and T1 will take the Series 2-1. Did you see Zephyr, like, three-shot the...